folks, Chef Jay, and this is Lake to Plate with my co-host who thinks he's a French roast. Why would I think I'm a French roast? <laughs> I don't know, are you in the gym? I, I am in the gym. Hey, what do you think of this? I, honestly, did you find that at like a thrift shop or... But look at it, eh? Like the fedora? Here's what I should have never done. I should have never gifted you that fedora. You know what? You've got me on to the hats now. I know, for your golf shirts, hats, your like, whole what's man. wrong? But, like... Really? Who else is doing anything like this? When it, it comes like a to a scene gone wrong, like a child just started throwing paint. Who is doing anything like this in the chef world? I, I don't know. I don't know a lot of chefs. I thought you're going to chef school. What online chef school? Online. I don't meet the others. Oh, so you don't meet the others. So I'm actually really the only chef that you know. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very good. So exciting day again today on the show. We're using Northern Pike again, aren't we? Northern Pike's a phenomenal. Isn't it, eh? Should we say hi to Moosey? Yeah, we didn't say hi to him in a while. Hey, Moosey. You know what the good thing is about me and Moosey? We're kind of like the same size. You think? Well, you know, I'm Does like the Moosey. shirt and the shirt kind of match? No, not at all, actually. They're, they're very different. I, I like Moosey's shirt better, if I'm being honest with you. Hi, Moosey. How are you doing today? He looks a little tongue-tied. He, he is, but you know what he just said? What's that? Chef, you're sexy. Well, that's, that's an awfully weird comment. Because I am. Okay, wow. so uh, modesty, I like it. Modesty. So we're going into Northern Pike again. You know that Northern Pike is my favorite fish, right? It is your favorite fish. Why is that? Ah, oh, you know, it's the nice, sweet taste. It's underutilized. It's everything you stand for. Everything I stand for is exactly that. Underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated. It's got the natural binders, so you don't have to add anything to it if you don't want to. It's got the fat content. It's got the flavor. It's got the flakiness. It's got, you can do anything with it, right? So you can grill it. You can poach it. You can sous vide it. You can smoke it. You can pan fry it. You can bake it. You can do just, you can do anything with it, right? <clears throat> Takes on all kinds of flavors. You can marinate it. You can do all sorts of things with Northern Pike. So on today's show, we're going to do Northern Pike two-way appetizer. I like the yeah. sound of that. So uh, we're going to do a northern pike cake with a mango salsa. salsa. And we're going to do a northern pike slider. And just like all recipes that we feature on the show, these are easy to prepare at home. Are they easy to prepare at home? Well, we follow the KISS model. <laughs> KISS. Hey there, uh, Leonidas. We haven't said hi to Leonidas in a while either. He's no. just, you know, watching out for us. Leonidas. Lucy's, Lucy's down there, there, hanging out with the produce. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so we're going to be using mango. We're going to be using some red peppers. We got some uh, cilantro and some parsley. We got some peppers. We're going to finish it off with these beautifully crispy onions that Torn already did up for. Did them this morning. You're a great sous chef there, Torn. And it's actually... Well, you know, I put them in a heart to I represent know, our love uh, for each other. It's good. Perfect. So, uh, folks, what you're going to want to do is you want to get a, your own grinder... Your own grinder if you have one. Or what you can you have the grinder? attachment and get a tabletop grinder. Then you're going to want to get the finest northern pike. I, I know of a place that has northern pike that you could get it from. <clears throat> then you're just, look at how beautiful So this pike, just to make mention, has already been boned. Yeah, so this is already boned. What does boned mean? It means it is not guaranteed to be boneless. It's not guaranteed to be boneless. 100% true because northern pike is full of bones. So you might find one, but when you're grinding it, what's going to happen? It's going to get minced down. It's going to get minced you're down. You're going to get a little iron in your diet. Get a little iron. So you just want to kind of cut it down so it can fit through your grinder. Uh, if you don't have this, you can just use your knives as if you're like, like that. Going to uh, mince it by yeah, hand. Mince hand it by mince. hand. Or maybe a mincer if you had a mincer, right? What about a blender? Could you blend it? Eat. That's a good question. I wonder if you could blend. Well, you probably could. Oh, it would be the same kind of thing. It would be the same kind of thing, wouldn't it? So. I'd want to wash your blender out if you're making smoothies. Though. Actually, I'd go with the smoothie right away after you use the Northern Pike so you have that extra shot of protein, no? Oh, yummy. Okay, so let's fire this up. You're also going to want to use your uh, f smallest. What's that thing called? You don't know. I do not know. Blade. You want to put it in the smallest hole, though. Right. What you're so. <laughs> This is how easy this is. There it comes. It just squirts right out. Yeah. 
That is, you notice I had it going that way because I can't get the. Uh, if you're staying out of the splash zone. I'm staying zone out of the stuff. splash zone because I like my. Uh, I like my chef jacket that makes me look like an awful painting. Really? I, I think it's appropriate. Really? I, I Do you know any other like chef that wears a f fedora hat? You know what? It's not even fedora season. <laughs> how, do you, how do you even know that? Uh, because somebody told you. Yeah, it was you. You told me it's not fedora season, but here you are wearing your fedora. Well, I had to for the show. Right? Shaw has a mandatory one fedora policy a season. Oh. Okay, so just keep her grinding. You're gonna notice that the uh, this is an amazing way to use your northern pike or any fish for that matter, right? You can use uh, mullet, you can use perch, you can use tulipy. I don't Look know that, I... Look how beautiful that is. Look how meaty that is. Did you get a can you get a shot of that? Yeah. Look at that. That is a nice piece of meat. Nice, you know, that's just beautiful. And you know what the disappointing thing is? It's that shot. Most people won't take this fish home. No, they'll uh, leave it in the lake. I, d I just don't get it, and that's why we're here to show you all the amazing ways that you can cook freshwater fish and also the underutilized, undervalued species that you don't want to bring home that you catch in your boat, which you should be because they're just as good for you, if not better. Plus, I mean, it always helps to take a little pressure off that walleye. That's it. How easy was that? Easy, it's ground down. What was that? Three minutes? Well, that's it. Now you have a ground fish, just like you'd be going to the grocery store to get ground Deep. hamburger. Right? Hot ground pork, I found that's very hard to come across. Okay, <laughs> so this recipe here. So, so which are we starting with, Chef? It's all the same recipe. Oh. So it's all one recipe. But with this recipe, you can do so many things. That's what we're going to show you how to do it two ways. We're going to do it on a slider, and then we're going to do it also in a cake form right so let's get a shot of the uh, ground pike so that's what your ground pike should look like look how, and, and the thing is is see how it just sticks right away that's the fat content in it right no bones about it no bones about it okay so you want to put some garlic in there tablespoon of garlic get some uh, salt and pepper in here just a little get less some please. salt in there Gonna get some of your uh, green onions in here. So you wanna just cut these very fine. What's that called, Torn? Are you doing a julienne? Julienne. Hey, do you know when it's good to, so here's, here's, here's a common question I get about Northern Pike, is the different seasons, there's different flavors with Northern Pike. Have some people, yeah, I've heard that. Some people uh, really like them in the winter, but they don't care for summer pike. It's an interesting one, right? So maybe uh, because the waters are warm, the uh, northern pike meat is different. I find a lot of people prefer the uh, the winter fish. They say that it's a clearer taste. Hmm. Well, me doesn't matter to me what uh, seasons don't matter. Seasons don't matter. It's all about the fish. Okay, so we're gonna add some peppers in here. Got some green onion in there. What else are we going to put in there? Oh, we're going to put some cilantro. Maybe a little jalapeno. Oh, a little, give her a little kick. You know Come what? We'll even, uh, we'll even keep the seeds in there. Oh, we're really kicking it up. Because notch. we don't have to waste the seeds, eh? No waste. No waste no, in this kitchen. No waste. So the other thing about this recipe is you can do this recipe ahead of time, and you can portion it into bags and freeze it. So all you gotta do is just like you would pull out your hamburger, right? So say you caught a northern pike and you're out there fishing and uh, you're like, hey, I wanna bring home this northern pike, but, or you don't know because you don't know what to do with it or whatever. You can, uh, what else do they say we're gonna go put uh, in there? Onion? No, oh, here jalapeno. We go. Some jalapeno with the seeds. So what you could do is you could keep that fish, you could bring that fish home and uh, <clears throat> make it into this. Then you freeze it in the bags and then for the whole year you have ground pike however you want to do it you can turn that into chili you can turn that into a soup you can turn that into future episodes we'll show you how to use northern pike probably more times than not because i love northern pike no bones about it no bones about it okay so there's some jalapenos what else are we gonna throw in there some cilantro Got a little cilantro in there look at how nice the cilantro is here's a little stem 
Didn't want to throw that in there? <sighs> I like when I'm having a sandwich to pull out a nice long stem. Get your uh, grill. Look at our nice fine grill today. Uh, get your grill set up at uh, medium high heat. No seven on this one? Uh, no seven, but if you're in the seven world, that's seven. Lucky number you know what seven. I do find out find about uh, cilantro? It's, it's a wee bit messy. It is a little messy. But the uh, smell of it is amazing. And then I got a secret, uh, a little secret I like to throw in this one. Should we let them know what the secret is? Oh, I think you have to let them know the secret. Alright. Let's know the secret. Doesn't look that secretive, Chef. What is it? It's uh, soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the finest. Okay, so a little bit of soy sauce. And uh, that's all. Okay, now mix it up. Just go to town on it. Yep, just get your hands in there. You're gonna notice it's gonna just come together right away. That's what it does. Every the more you bind it, to, or more the more you work it, the more binding it's gonna more bind. Well, you want to get a good mix, don't right? you? A nice so, combination on every. Uh, every that's spread. right, eh? So, as you can tell, see how it's binding. Chef, are you working up a sweat? No. I, well, I, I think I see a little sweat coming from your brow. You getting a little hot? Well, I'm naturally hot, but yes, you could say I'm a little hot. <laughs> a little warmer than usual, maybe? A little maybe. warmer than usual. Okay, so what we want to do here is just let this sit for a couple of, let it sit in your fridge for five minutes. Hmm. Just five minutes, eh? Uh, yes. Well, you want to let it get uh, worked in, right? So while we're waiting for that, let's move into the closet. The famous closet. <laughs> Let's do the... Uh, that was pretty good. You weren't in the closet very long that time around. <laughs> okay, so let's do the mango... You know me. Can't waste. Gotta get that skin in there. Yeah. You know the one thing about mango, though, is, like, look how much of a core there is, eh? It's, a, it's kind of a wasteful fruit. Isn't it? Well, it's just, like... Yeah. Like, yeah. the core is huge, like... That's, it's got an awfully big core. That it does. It's got a big heart. I, th I think that's what you can say about mangoes. Mangoes are a lot of heart. <laughs> Mango, all heart. Okay, so what you want to do here is just want to same deal. Finely dice. Finely dice. Skin and all. Mango salsa, very summery, eh? Yeah, you know, uh, if you don't have any mango in your. Uh, region because we just picked this off our mango tree didn't we mango tree out back mango tree out back uh you could use pineapple you could use raspberry you could use any, you could use anything you want to use really right i mean it's truly up to uh depends what you like depends what you like you could use a can of jarred salsa you, you could use a can of jarred salsa if you wanted to keep it really really simple simple okay so the rest of this we'll just save aside for uh are you getting tired of dicing mangoes, Chef? No. Why would I get tired of doing that? Okay, it's almost so like you need a sous chef to dice your mangoes ahead of time. Well, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for the day that uh, I can have a sous chef. I thought you were the sous chef. Well, you know, I'm trying to train Moosey on how to do it. Well, I thought, like, Leonidas would fly in right now. or Just so grab the knife with his teeth. Just and grab the knife with his teeth. He might have some trouble with his fins. <laughs> but his fins would be... Beautiful though, eh? Oh, nice mango. Okay, in it goes. Now we're gonna add some uh, green onion. Very nice. Watch out for your uh, tag. As a child, we used to have uh, green onion in our garden, but really? I would just eat it. Eat the onion. I was a bit of a different child. Yeah, you, you like raw onion, don't you? I, I do enjoy raw onion. Is that not a normal thing? Um, no, I don't think it's not normal. Okay, let's take the, uh, since we're going with yellow, eh? Yeah. Let's stick with yellow. You know the old saying, an onion a day keeps the doctor away. Onion a day keeps the doctor away. Never heard that one. Maybe that's why I haven't seen the doctor in a while. Eating all those raw onions, eh? <laughs> 
Okay, and then uh, a little bit of uh, parsley. You know this time of year is beautiful when it comes to vegetables, eh? Like it's just starting, everything's starting to grow. The smell of everything, right? Ah, you know, it's nice to see all that greenery again. So this is beautiful. This is going to be fresh. It's going to be colorful. It's going to make your... Uh, it's going to make your salsa pop. Okay, so then a little bit of garlic. Never enough garlic. Never right? enough. Salt. I was just doing a little dance there for yeah, you. Well, you know what you, you look like you need? Like a hula hoop. Could you cook in hula hoop? <sighs> Might be able to. Okay, so... Uh, what do we got there, Chef? Hmm. Let's go with this one. We'll do a little bit of red wine vinegar. So we're going to make a little vinaigrette. Throw in your red wine. What's that? A tablespoon or two? Ah, that's about two tablespoons. Then we're going to... Get some oil up in there. And we're just going to give her a stir. And there is your salsa. Now, is this a hot salsa or a cold salsa? Oh, it's, it, uh, uh, it's cold salsa. Don't you like cold salsa? Huh. Did I change my mind? I think you might have. Really? Hey, can you do a little salsa right now? Like a little salsa in the kitchen? Um, how do, do you, you do the salsa? I, I thought you knew how to salsa. I, I think that's how to cook it. <laughs> is that not how you do it? I, I don't know what dance that one is, but... Oh, you look like you're kind of steering the bus. That, the boat! The boat! Okay, let's pull out our northern pike. Look at how beautiful that looks. Beautiful, eh? It's really all come together. That's right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a grill, but we're also going to use the fry pan, right? So I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. Get a little bit of... Is your glove melting? No. Oh, not hot. It's not hot. Hey, look, the closet's jumping out at me. <laughs> Get a little bit of spray going. Then you just want to... Just form your patties. Form your patties. How big a patty are we looking to do? Half ounce? Two ounce? Ah, well, this is Three two ounce. ounce. Two ounce? Six ounce? But look how... Look, like, look. Like, there's no binder in that. That's straight fish with vegetable, right? That's it. Nothing else in there. Nutritious and delicious. Isn't that amazing? Hear that sizzle. <clears throat> so like I said, you could, you know, if you uh, got a, a large northern pike, because we're, no, 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 we're known for huge fish out here, aren't we? Oh, we're in that kind of... You know, maybe we should get in a boat one day. Wouldn't that be exciting? And uh, head out on the lake and show the lake to Why people. Why are we eyeing up Moosey as you said that? Do you want him to drive the boat? I, I do, actually. Yeah. Uh, it is called a lake to plate, isn't it? There you go. Okay, so we're going to no do lake. two on here. What's going on back there? Do you, do you have a little sizzle going, Chef? Uh, that one's sizzling. Um, hmm. Mha. Mha. Okay, so then we're going to get two on here. You could also turn these into fish balls. You could make a, like a fish Which meatball. I think we have already shown one time, right, with uh, another fish? Yeah, we did the perch ball stir fry. So this is, uh, this is a great way to use northern pike, great way to do an appetizer, great way to open the palates to new people in your family. If you're having a family dinner, you know, don't tell them it's Northern Pike, they would never know. Well, right? you know, I was having a conversation there with the other, a guy the other day, and he was telling me, you know, every Christmas, you know, he's a good Christian, you eat uh, no meat on Christmas Eve. He was saying he was doing the walleye and the pike, and he didn't tell them which was which. No one even knew there was pike. Hey, you know what's really cool? Indistinguishable. These blue gloves match this awful painting of a chef coat. Do, do most chefs go through about nine pairs of gloves in 15 minutes? Well, you got a problem with that? I, I mean, I'm just watching out for the glove budget. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm a healthy guy. You, you know when gloves don't fit your hands like that? You know what's going on? Uh, are your hands wet? No. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going in there. We got those cooking. Clean this up a bit. This is simple. This is easy. Northern Pike. At its finest. 
Here's a little plate of roux right here. And then we're going to have another plate of roux right here. A plate of roux, eh? Kind of like kangaroo. I was thinking kangaroo. Or kangaroo, yes. Kangaroo. Okay, I've also uh, checked out these nice little uh, slider buns. It's a perfect slider buns. Yeah, we made these this morning. Look at look at how like look at how nice those stay together, right? Beautiful. Beautiful two ounce mini sliders burgers on number seven. You could put them in the deep fryer if you wanted. How are these looking? Are we gonna give them a little flip? Uh, not yet because I like to put grill marks on them. I'm a chef. You should know that. Correct? Is that why people think chefs are pretentious? You're probably right on that one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grill the buns, too. Holy, are these soft. Oh, that's how you like them. Fresh out of the oven, nice and soft. Okay, right on the same pan. Soak in that flavor. Soak in the flavor. Okay. So what we want to do here, those are going to go there. Then we're going to put uh, tomato. And uh, I'm very creative. We're going to use kale. Kale is a superfood, isn't it? You know what the funny thing about kale was? Back before it became a superfood, quote unquote, yep. it was uh, sold to fishermen as a uh, essentially free garnish for their fish. Really? Yeah, it used to be worth about five cents a pound. Look at that. You see that? Nice grill mark, chef. Okay, so we're getting our buns nice and toasty. Cut your tomato. Couple pieces of tomato. That's a nice looking tomato. So we got our tomato. We're gonna get a little, uh, some stuff I made earlier today. Tartar sauce. Yeah? Nice fresh homemade tartar, which we've featured on the show numerous times before. Yeah, there's a look at that. Oh, just like nothing, eh? Oh, 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 oh. What kind of laugh is that? Uh, it was just that uh, it looks really sexy. You sound kind of like a count or something. Like count, count upon count. <laughs> kind of getting lost here. Okay, a little bit of tartar. You could also put whatever else you want to put down here. You want to use uh, ketchup. You want to <laughs> ketchup. Ketchup or catsup? That is the common, uh, well, here's another debate, isn't it? I'm all ketchup. Are you a catsup man? What I don't understand is why the debate, they don't go with the chef. I, are you saying you're that. A Look how beautiful man. that is. Right? Quick in a fry pan with garlic butter. Just give it a little toss. Or, look, they don't even fall apart. Did we use anything on there that? There is no nothing. binder in that. No binder, nothing at all. This is fresh northern pike. Look at that. This grill is amazing too. Uh, did you not get uh, quite enough oil on there? No. It's beautiful. Okay, so then what we're going to do here, put our kale down, tomato down, a little bit of onion. A whole onion? No. I just want to keep the doctor away. <laughs> I know how much you like the onion. But look at these how, how look, look at these beautiful little sliders, eh? You can't go wrong with a nice little slider. You know, it's a nice light way to have an appetizer. Then a little bit of Then take a little bit of your tartar sauce, bottom of this plate. We like to get a little smear going on. Why do we like the smear? Pretentiousness. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, it's a good question. Someone look it up. I want to know what it means. Are you calling me out? I am calling you out. And now you're calling me out. I don't know my words. Okay, those are done. How long did that take? Five minutes. Five in the pan. Beautiful. <laughs> you want to do one, 
two. Then you take your, then you take your spoon. Did Moosey steal the spoon or what? What's going on? I here? think he's licking the icing off of it. That's a cheese grater. Not gonna want to use that. <laughs> this here, folks, is a cheese grater. Learned this that here, one folks, in Chef This here, folks, is 12. your finest knife. This here, folks, is your finest bread knife. This here, folks, is a can opener. Still just waiting to look for a spoon, folks. Oh, there it is. Okay, then what you want to do here, folks, is you want to toss it up. This is beautiful right here. Check, did you get a nice little shot oh, of it? Oh, wow, that looks great, Chef. Beautiful color, right? That's a nice mango salt. So this is just going right on top. This is going right on top. Just put it on there. Make things look sexy or pretentious, whatever the word is you want to use. Uh, I say sexy myself. Maybe that can be the next uh, poll. Our that could, Jay's, that could be pretentious or sexy. That could be the next poll. But what I want to do is uh, pull out one of our secret weapons. Want to see one of the secret weapons? Let's see it, Chef. Look at this secret weapon. You know what that is? I, I do not, Chef. What do we have there? What is that? Uh, looks like a thing. This here is whitefish eggs. Right on top. Beautiful, eh? Just a little garnish. A little eh? garnish. Take your burger. Give him another quick little flip ski. Uh, how beautiful is that? It's a nice slider. Nice slider. Put it on there. Look at that. Right on to. Oh my god. Beautiful. Then we take. Uh, hmm. Going back in the closet again here. That's a cupboard. Cupboard. Looking for something that I can't find. Are you trapped in the cupboard? Yep. Something got your hand? Uh, got my hand. Here we go. Oh, you know what I forgot? What's that, Chef? One of my favorite ones. You're beautiful. Oh, how could we forget? Crispy onions on top. Take the bun. God, eh? Look at that. That there is Northern Pike two ways as an appetizer. We got pan fried Northern Pike with a nice mango salsa. We have Northern Pike sliders with a nice onion topped with crispy onions underutilized undervalued species that are in lake of the woods that never get used we're showing you how on lake the plate to use these amazing fish aren't we torn that's what we do every week till next week bye, -bye.